do we have a surprise? Well, we haven't gotten it yet. We haven't gotten a surprise yet. We're fixing to load up the trailer. Or load up a trailer we has somebody we're grateful for that let us borrow this trailer because it's a small trailer. Because we're picking up a small animal. Well, Brooke and Mary Carr, I'm going to stay here and take care of the farm. they got to drive all the way to Florida to go get a surprise. Y'all stay tuned for this. What is going on, y'all? It's Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. And I hope you guys are having the most wonderful day today. Because I'm going to tell you something. We're going to have an exciting day later on this afternoon. We are getting a new farm animal. It's been a big secret. We've been, this has been in the works for a little while. And I don't want to give it away yet. I want to surprise you guys when it arrives. Uh, Brooke and Mary Carl have traveled to, to close to Central Florida. And they are bringing back a surprise. And I hope it all goes well. You know how it is when you bring a new animal in. Um, you, you don't know how all the other animals are going to react. So, you know, there is some little nervousness here, some little anxiety here, but hopefully it all goes smooth. Everybody's happy. And I think this addition is going to be great for the farm and great for a certain animal here on down the road. I do. And it may happen right off the bat. We don't know, but we shall find out. Are right, we coming, Loretta? Goodness gracious, we're coming. But first we gotta play Find the bowls. It's a game Loretta loves to play. Oh, I see it. It's in the porta hood. There it is, right there. Bowl number two. One of these is Gus's, so she takes Gus's away too. I don't know what that's about, girl. I don't know what that's about. You hear me? Hmm? You hear me? Hey. Hey, we got a new animal coming to the farm. I want you to be. Well, let me say this. I want you to put on your best, lovely Loretta behavior, okay? Okay? I know the Gus bus is gonna act right. We never have any issues out of the Gus bus. He is a gentleman, but you, you can be a fire, firecracker. I mean, you try to take on a 2,000 pound steer not too long ago. Yeah, all right, here's your vitamin. Here's your vitamin. Come on, come and get it. Good girl. All right, Gus, here's your vitamin. Come on, get it. Come on, big Gus. There you go, buddy. Come on, Loretta. Come on, Loretta. There you go, girl. Good morning, you two. Mr. Nug, Miss Goldie. You guys doing okay today? If I have time, I'll go over there and sneak a peek at those eggs. But I got a lot on my plate today. We got a new member of the family coming. And I'm just trying to get everybody prepared and letting everybody know so they can be on their best behavior okay all right if i got time i'm gonna come back and look all right holly let's go look and see what side the bed the boss lady woke up on this morning hopefully the good side good morning peaches how you doing everything going your way this morning okay good good did you have a board meeting about the new family member did she have a board meeting biscuit hmm she did good deal good all right, you want to help me get everybody fed this morning? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Peaches, hopefully everybody acts right today. You know, for the most part, we got a, we got a good bunch here. So, But I know how it is. I know how it is when somebody new comes in. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just fine. Goodness, that all. Your alarm clock is crazy this morning, Peaches. All right, girlfriend, here you go. There you go. I just saw a little white nose sticking through the door right there. Wonder who that was. <laughs> What's up, partner? <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys ready? Come on out this morning. Y'all come on and shake that leg. 
Jesse ain't shaking no leg, neither is Mildred. It's a beautiful day to be laying around, though. I give them that. I definitely give them that. Hey, guys, I want to let y'all in a little secret. Um, we got a new member of the farm coming today. I want everybody to be on their best behavior. And we may do a little cleaning up. I'm going to think I'm going to bring the side-by-side -side in here with the harrow and go around the pastures, get it cleaned up good so we can have a... Uh, a good first impression, you know what I mean? Like you, Jesse, you're new here. You know, you came sometime last year. I'm not quite for sure when your gotcha day is. We'll have to go look. But, no, Bootsy, leave the camera alone. Bootsy, Bootsy, leave the camera alone. Hey, hey, leave the camera alone. Go, 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 leave the camera alone. But Jesse, do you remember when you came, hmm? Oh, you remember that? So, same thing with this lovely lady that's coming today. Same thing. Yeah. I know you'll be good. I know you're going to be good. I know you're going to be good. All right. Oh, goodness. No, Boosie. Uh, don't do that, girl. So we do have a little decision to make where the new animal's coming is how do we introduce her? What pasture do we put her in? She's definitely going over here on the barn side. There's no doubt she's going to come over the barn side. So... We're trying to figure that out. You know, this pasture over here, the pond pasture where the emu, emus and geese stay is split. So we definitely, we got beautiful weather. We don't have any nasty weather. So if we wanted to, we definitely could for a couple of days, put her in this pasture and just move the emus to over there. If we wanted to, that's an option. Mildred being the calmest animal to us, motherly animal to us, we may put Mildred with her and put her in this pasture here. And then that way, all the other animals can see her. That is an option. And I'm really leaning towards that option. The other option we got is to put her over here in the future boy goat pasture over here with another animal because they're herding animals. They need a buddy. So we could put Mildred and her over here if we decide to use Mildred or it could be a goat. We will figure that out. So that, that is an option we can do over here. Or we can put her directly in with Mildred, the goats, and Jesse. That's option three. Our only little issue with that is I'm not for sure how Jesse's going to be around a new animal. So that, 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 that is an issue there. So what I'm thinking, with it being pretty weather, no chance of any rain or of any kind or anything like that. No cold weather. I'm thinking about just letting Nugget and Goldie have that pasture over there for a couple of days. Let everybody get used to each other. And then make the transition from there. I think that would be the really best option. So what I, what I think I'm going to do is I need to get hay. Mildred and the girls are almost out of hay. And you guys, or most of you guys know our routine now, and that is we stall the animals up when we put hay in. That's because um, Mildred got out one day and it was, she was in heat. So it, it didn't go well. Uh, we, we got her back, but I don't want the animals getting out. And kind of for their safety too, thinking why I got them stalled up, I can go get the side-by-side -side and the, the harrow and run it through there and clean that pasture up. And if I need to put any hay feeders in there or anything like that, let's go ahead, knock that out. Brooke and them are gonna be later this evening before they get here, and I just want to be ready. Go put these guys up. We don't need any craziness today. We're probably gonna have enough as it is. Right, girl? They know I'm coming with the hay. That's the only reason I come on this backside. They're a lot smarter than we give them credit for. Don't mess with the camera. 
Thank you. <laughs> Y'all come on. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, let's get these guys in the stalls and locked up out of harm's way. All right, Mildred, go get in your stall. Go get in your stall. There you go. All right, so we got Mildred done. Come on, Jesse. Good girl, Jesse. Come on. Come on, Topper. Y'all, come on. All right, that's everybody. That's everybody. I like to cut the net off of it. Again, it's just for the animal safety. I know there's some people that leave it on and their animal, animals seem to do fine with it, but it just always worries me, especially with goats. I just thought of something. I know I said I was gonna put the drag harrow on back of the side by side and come through here and clean the pasture up, but I got the rake on here. It'll do just as good. I don't have to worry about getting another implement. I don't have to worry about getting a side by side in here. I'm already in here. <laughs> All right, guys, got it done. I tell you what, that worked. That worked pretty good. What you think, girl? Huh? What you think? Come on out. I got you a new bell of hay in there. Yeah, new bell of hay. Come on, goats. Come on, guys. Y'all, come on out. I hear you, Mildred. Okay, Aunt Jessie. You next, girl. Come on out. Come on out, Aunt Jessie. There you go, there you go. All right, let's get your mineral salt block off the fence here. Oh, Topper, don't mess my camera up. There y'all go. So I've sort of made up my mind, and it could change though. It could change at any moment. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get the, uh, the emus that go back over there. They go back and forth. The emus are on this side right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get a hay feeder over there. We already got a water trough over there. Already got a stall over there that I can feed Mildred in. Cause I think I'm gonna move Mildred with the, with the, uh, the new animal. And with this fence right here, they can get used to each other. The goats can see the new animal. Jesse can see the new animal. And I think this is gonna work out. Look out, Nuggo. All right, eight feet are down. There you go, guys. See it, Nugget? Right there. There's your feed. It's temporary, just until the, the new one gets adjusted to things, just for a few days. You're perfectly fine over here in this beautiful pasture with the woods, your woman's eggs, the pond. It's perfect. Shade, we're good. And we got beautiful weather for the next few days, okay? All right. Come on, Holly. And you may be saying, why are you separating them? It's the food thing, y'all. It all has to do with the food. Um, emu feed has a lot of copper in it, and I just don't want my animals getting that much copper. 
because we do feed our animals specific to the breed they are. Our feed is breed specific, so um, I don't want our other animals eating the emu feed because of the copper mainly. And the emus are not like the uh, the goats and the the four-legged livestock animals. They're just not. They're gonna come over here and get them something to bite to eat, and then go off over there and walk around. Come back over here and get them a bite to eat. Go over there and walk around. They don't go in a stall and eat, you know, at one time. They just eat throughout the day. So I got Nugget and Goldie following me. So hopefully I can get these guys on over here and get this pasture separated. Looks like it's working though. There's Nug, there's Goldie. Y'all are honestly my last piece of this puzzle today. Yeah, the last piece, buddy. If I get y'all to come over here and get this gate shut, we'll be doing wonderful. You hear me? All right, we're almost there. I'm not worried about Nugget, but Goldie's following me too, so it should be should work this should work this should work come on Doug. goldie's almost there you can see goldie is almost in she's now in okay she's eating she found the food good that's what i wanted i wanted her to see that food she knows where it's at all right stay on this side ha 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 Perfect. Got it. Got it. Got it. And her nest is over here. We got water over here. We got food over here. We got beautiful weather over here. So everything should be good. All right, y'all. I have arrived here in Florida at Misty Dawn Farm. And guess what? It's time to take home a new animal. Look at here, y'all. I've got Amy with me. And Hi. this is Honey. Honey was born here at Misty Dawn Farm about six and a half months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, oh my gracious, it's going to be a journey to get her home because we're about six hours away. But we're about to get her loaded up and on the way to Cog Hill Farm where she can meet Jessie and friends. And, and I'm so excited. She's going to have the best life. She's going to have the best life. Well, we're so excited and we look forward to seeing what happens I mean it's it's gonna be an adjustment for everybody on yeah. Jesse's side it's gonna be an adjustment because she's used to being the only donkey and then of right. course honey's leaving her home for the first time but guess what we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work so y'all come on and we're gonna head back to Alabama and uh, get honey unloaded and follow this journey thank you Amy so much you're welcome all right y'all so I just got the text from Brooke her, Mary Carl, and Miss Honey, the new mini donkey, are on their way home. I don't know how Jesse's gonna react, but Jesse has been around donkeys, so it's not like Jesse's only been around these guys over here. Uh, she was around donkeys at Daniel and DJ's, so I, I, I don't think there's gonna be any issues. I really don't, I, and and I'm sure there may be a breaking in period. Um. That's usually with all animals, y'all. It really is. They're going to let each other know this, that, and another. Um, but I think it's just going to go smooth. But Brooke and Mary Carl will be here in a few hours. And I can't wait to meet Honey myself. Holly, are you excited about Honey? <laughs> oh, goodness, Holly. You are something else. I need to put a pedometer on you. So many steps you take a day. Well, I'm on the interstate in Florida, and you have to stop for an ag inspection if you're carrying any kind of livestock. So, luckily, I had all my paperwork that Amy was so gracious to provide for me, and um, we're just we just passed the inspection, and we're on our way to Alabama. All right, Miss Jessie, they'll they'll be here shortly. Won't be long now, okay? Won't be long now. Yeah, we're gonna have you a buddy. Hope y'all are big buds. I think y'all will be. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Another little mini donkey. Yeah. Somebody you can play with. How about that? Hmm? I think y'all gonna be big buddies. 
She's got to be sweet, okay? She's going to be new here. Okay, y'all, they are here. Book's pulling up now. I got the I got the gate open. She can pull right on in here. I guess I need to shut the gate though when she comes in. Okay, yeah. Brooke seems to think we ought to put her in the stall first. We're gonna pull up here, or she's gonna pull up here, and we can get her in the stall that way. Mildred's looking like, what in the world? What's going on here? Mildred's a curious thing. Oh, here they all come. Here comes the whole gang. About, about two foot. All right. I think that's good. I'm getting you out, baby. I'm getting you out. I'm getting you out. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. There you go, honey. Hey, honey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know what? What? I was thinking on the way up here. Uh-huh. This is kind of like your donkey. Yeah? So, honey's going to be your donkey? Well, I'm just trying to figure it out because it looks like you're trying to take my donkey. <laughs> I'm going to get you mic'd up so we can hear you. <laughs> oh, Mildred's trying to lick her. Yeah, Mildred is the probably the sweetest, Look sweetest one here. Oh, the cats had to come check things out. What you think, honey? She's she's a good bit taller than Jessie. She is. She's longer legged. Yeah. And Amy said she's about full grown. Okay, good. She's about to start losing good. her winter coat. She's drinking. Good. Mildred. Mildred, what you think? She's right there. Honey thought, says she has lived with cows, so she knows all about you, Mildred. I'm kind of wondering if Jessie is the not the norm. She's really small. Well, she had a rough yeah start. She's like a miniature miniature. And her, she's full-blooded miniature cross. Okay. Don't you think, Mildred? She's beautiful. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, that winter coat's coming out. You can it start is. to see it in her back, back it end. Is. They look so shaggy right now. Mm -hmm. But it'll come on out in it about... A long ride, wasn't it, baby? In about a month. She yeah, won't look like that. Look at you. You're home. She's very vocal. I see it. <laughs> Amy apologized because this makes two, well, actually, three animals that yeah. we've gotten from Misty Dawn. Uh -huh. One of them being Loretta, who's very vocal, <laughs> and Honey is very vocal. So she said it's just going to liven up Coghill Farm a little bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jesse says she's going to go after that. Jesse said that horn was loud. <laughs> You made it home. Home sweet home. You better pick it out of the Mildred's the only one interested in her. Yep. Yeah, get the car out. I can get Mildred over here quick. I think with no with no worries. Well, the only reason I wanted to put her in here first is to make sure she drank yeah. before she went out there because she needs to stretch those legs out. She That's does. For sure. She she probably she's probably wanting to I mean for, for all you know, I might run beside her. <laughs> I need to stretch mine too, honey. Yeah, honey, I think honey's, honey's ready to roll. Honey is ready to roll. So I'm going to roll out of here. And then when I get out the gate over there, uh -huh. you can let them out. And I'll just come okay. back in. Sweet baby. Why don't you get, a, get used to here? Probably in the next day or two, we'll, we'll brush you. Yeah. 
Okay, so here's the game plan, honey. We're going to get the trailer out. I'm going to let Mildred over here. And then I'm going to let you out. How about that? All right, so Brooke is headed on out. I love that little trailer. We got to get us a little trailer. That come in so handy. But anyways, Brooke's on her way out. That means you about to come on in, girl. Yeah. Mildred likes new faces. She does. Yeah. She's a big old babysitter. That's what she is. Big old babysitter. Uh-oh. Jesse's going now. That was Jesse and honey. Was it? Yeah. All right, there's the gate. All right, let's let Mildred out. Yay. There you go. Get a girl. Good job, Mildred. Okay, honey. Come on. Come on. Mildred's calling you. Come on, let's go. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, honey. Come on. Oh, goodness. Now Moody's moving. Now, look at you. Mildred said, wait a minute. What in the world? You know you're going to put me in here with her? <laughs> look at here. <laughs> look at Jesse. And this is what I wanted. I, I, this is why I wanted her on this pasture. In this pasture, I mean. Um, so everybody could get used to each other without, you know, without any rough housing. That's right. And it may not be any rough housing. Yeah, but you think about it. You put anybody. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, you put anybody in a new situation. It's going to, it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Look, Come on, Mildred. Go, girl. <laughs> oh my gracious. Look at Jesse. <laughs> oh, Everybody got to zoom. Look at Jesse. Everybody got to zoom. Yeah, I see you. She's real pretty in the sunlight. She is. Mm -hmm. I like her coloration. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm waiting on mama to stick her head out the door and say, what in the world is that? <laughs> Look at Jesse laying down. Jesse's just chill, isn't she? She's pretty chill. See, this is what I want right here. Right there. And Jesse's ears are pinned back. And she gave a little kick. Mm -hmm. Honey's ears are not pinned back though. You see that? And Amy said it would be a bigger adjustment for Jesse than it will for Honey. Oh, I, can, I see. She was right, wasn't she? She was right. Bo said, let me move. <laughs> that little squeak. That silly squeak. She'll get better, baby. Yeah. She's going to be your friend. <laughs> yeah, they'll get used to each other. I'm glad we separated them. Yep, me too. But look, honey's honey's showing her love. Mm -hmm. See, Jesse's ears are not pinned back no more. Yep, they pinned back then. But if we had put them in together, there would have been a fight. Yeah, they would have. They would have. Yeah. There would have been some kicking. There would have been some kicking. Probably not from honey. It's okay, baby. We've had horses, so we know. Right. We know what they're going to do. That's normal behavior. Very normal. They would let each other know who is the boss. Come here. And Come here. after a few days, it all had calmed down. Honey. See Miss Biscuit? Biscuit going to roll around.
<laughs> and you see Honey wants to... Love on Jesse. She wants to associate with Jesse. Jesse said, not yet. Jesse may have forgotten she's a donkey. Well, Honey's not scared of her. Uh-uh, not at all, which is good. Honey, did you meet the sheriff over there? That, that is the sheriff. Now, I take that back. That is not the sheriff. That's the deputy. That is Goldie right there. Is it? Yeah. You'd think I could tell the difference by now, but... I can really tell right now because she's strutting and, and her chest is puffed up. Nugget's not doing that. Well, I know you're tired. I am tired. And I know Honey's tired. I know she is too. So maybe everybody will get some rest. And we will update as soon as... As soon as Jesse... Yeah. Jesse James... Calms down just a Calms hair. down. Yep. Mildred's gonna have a talk with her. <laughs> Mildred's just checking the pasture out over here. We sound like a donkey farm now. <laughs> What you think, Aunt Jessie? Hmm? That's gonna be your new buddy. Y'all gonna be running around, playing ball? Yeah. I know you are. That's right. I know you are. Yeah, you gotta be sweet to her though. Once you get all that <laughs> business out of you, gotta be sweet, okay? All right. Okay, y'all, we'll keep you guys posted. Now this is gonna be a ongoing thing here for the next few days and I think everybody's gonna be fine and I'm glad we put honey in this pasture so everybody can get used to her and day or two I think everybody's gonna be a-okay <laughs>